Okay, decomposition is uh, basically the process of breaking a problem down into smaller problems, making it easier to um, solve the bigger problem. So the idea is if you, um, in, our, in our simple example on the slide, if you wanted to make breakfast, you could sort of break that down into making toast and making tea. And you could break each one of these down even further into, say, making tea. You could say, well, I've got to boil water, I've got to brew the tea, and then I've got to add the milk. Or making toast, you could say, I've got to slice the bread, toast the bread, butter the toast, and then add the jam. And you could keep going effectively, but this is a really, really useful tool for when you are trying to approach solving a problem on a computer. All right, so when you are going to program, you look at the problem you've got, and you try and decompose it down into smaller chunks, and then you tackle those smaller chunks at a time. Um, it's a really common thing that you'll probably hear quite a lot in computer science, this term decomposition. That's all it means. Um, but if you think of something like, I don't know, Super Mario, the whole game itself is really, really complex. But if, if you actually break it down into, I don't know, Mario jumping, or Mario, if he lands on the head of a bad guy, the bad guy dies, or if he jumps and hits a block, the block breaks. And it's all those little, if you keep breaking it down further and further and further and further and then tackling the smaller problems, when you do the smaller problems, you'll find then the next sort of size of problem will be done. Then you've sorted them and then the bigger problem will eventually get completed. And that's how you tackle bigger complex problems by using decomposition.